Morning guys, it's half past six and um, I thought, well it's been a couple of weeks now since I've been out boot sailing, um, so I thought I'd go out and see what I can pick up. So yeah, see how I get on. Um, I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I got hardly any sleep last night. But yeah, I'm just itching to get out because like I say, it's been a couple of weeks, so here we go, see what I can find. to the witch outfits. <coughs> um what we got there now? Let's see, do which is gonna clean. Um Right, it's now later in the day and I'm back at the shop and I've bought my few bits that I picked up. I didn't pick up a lot, so I'll show you what I grabbed this morning. Um, as you can see, I did try and film a little bit of footage just to give you an idea of what one of the boot sales that I go to is like. Um, but it's really hard to film because I'm using my phone and I, I need my hands free, so I just filmed a little bit. Um, I did pick up those witches' outfits that were in that clip, and and they'll be perfect to go in the shop or online, either way. So yeah, um, like I said, I didn't get much. There, there weren't many stalls out. It was quite damp. Um, and cold so not many people were out selling but I, I picked up a fair few items but but nothing amazing uh, a few nice little bolos in here though so uh, yeah let me show you what I found right so this is what I managed to find this morning like I say not masses really but there wasn't a lot out there if I start over here uh, this is a Catmate automatic pet feeder I had a larger version of this, which was a round revolving one, which had four trays in it. And I got, it was either 25 or 30 quid for that one. Um, so I grabbed this one, this was a pound. Um, not sure what that's worth, but yeah, should be some good money in that. Um, this is a little phonics alphabet game. Um, this is, these characters are from the Oxford Reading Tree. There you go. Oxford Reading Tree books that I find sell really well. So um, yeah, I grabbed that. Uh, it worked out to be 30 pence. So there's got to be a little bit of money in that. Some sealed Sony floppy disks. Uh, they were 20p. Uh, an audio book for 50 pence. Uh, I scanned that into Amazon. It has good value on Amazon. I think it was going around the sort of 10 to 12 pound mark. So that's pretty good. Um, a few little bits of uh, Thomas, this is one of the Golden Bear trains, in really nice condition. And a few of these little um, like take and play style trains with the magnetic connectors, they're in really nice condition as well. I paid up a bit on these. With this um, Ben 10 watch, I paid £4 on everything, which I don't know, it was more than I'd like to pay, um, but I've done well on these. Um, and there's a couple of chains here that are quite interesting. I've not seen this one before. This one's Douglas. So yeah, should be some money in that. Another one of these. I haven't sold one of these for a while, uh, but I was doing well on them earlier in the year. So yeah, for a pound I grabbed another one of those. Now this is a little bit of a bolo. I've never seen it before. Um, so I took a chance on it because it was only 50 pence. It's Uno, which is the card game, uh, but this is Uno Moo. And it's got all these little like cows and sheep and stuff in here. I've no idea how it works. It does have the instructions. But I quickly looked on Amazon when I got back and it seems to sell really well on Amazon. Um, so yeah, it's worth picking up. Uno Moo, totally new one on me, but yeah. Glad I grabbed it. Uh, the Sims Complete Collection. Uh, again, I paid 50 pence on that. 
that goes uh, quite well on Amazon. I think they were about £12 uh, on there. Uh, a couple of CDs, nothing really special here. Uh, Jackie, three CD album, and a Frozen sing along, and some DVDs. Uh, Disney's Muppets, Disney Wally, Disney Incredibles, Disney New Groove, Disney again, Monsters Inc., uh, 2 CD, uh, Disney Princess Stories, Triple Pack, uh, Disney again, Pooh's Most Grand Adventure, and this New Girl, uh, which I grabbed because it was sealed, but there's not a lot of value in that one. Uh, these were either 50 pence or a pound, and some of these I may do on their own. If not, I will bundle them. And there's uh, a few more Disney reward codes in there, which is always nice. Right, a few board games. Uh, I got a Boggle for, I think that was a pound. Um, I tend to do really well with these. They sell quickly and easily. Downfall, well you saw I sold a Downfall on Amazon for 22 pounds last week. Um, this is a different version. I don't think there's as much money in this, but they always sell really well. This is another bit of a bolo. Uh, it's a, another new one on me, uh, Quelf. I really wasn't sure if it had any value, so I looked it up while I was there. Uh, and they seem to be doing quite well on eBay. And since I got back, I looked it up on Amazon. And, and yeah, you're looking an easy 20, possibly 25 or more. Um, so yeah. That's one to uh, remember, Quelf. Quite happy to find that, and that was a pound. Um, the downfall was a pound as well. This Guess Who is probably my favourite pickup of the day. Um, I had this exact version when I was a kid, and this vintage version sells really well. I think the last one I sold of this uh, in this condition was I got, I think, 25 for it last Christmas. Um, it may have been 20. I think it was a bit more. It could have even been 30. I can't remember now. Um, I sell so much of this sort of stuff. But yeah, this vintage one is well worth picking up. Um, and at a pound was an absolute bargain. And then this was good as well. Rummy Cub is always worth grabbing. Um, but this one is still factory sealed. It's still got its cellophane on. Um, they had it stickered at, if I can get it to focus, five pounds. Um, and I got it for four, but that should be an easy £20 plus. And then I grabbed this, oh, it's not focusing, focus, there we go. Um, I grabbed this Hungry Hippos. I've not actually had this before. Um, I see it now and again, and I've never gone on it. Um, but I grabbed this one because it was only, well, it's marked at a pound, as you can see. And it's the vintage one, and it's the big box one. And I looked them up when that when I got home, and that's an easy sort of fifteen pounds delivered. So, yeah, they're worth picking up. Um, a few mugs, another one of these Disney barrel mugs. This is a Winnie the Pooh one, Tigger. This is one of these Churchill ones. I've been doing well on these, selling these for around the ten pound mark. Um, and that was well, all of these were twenty pence. And then I grabbed some of these. Cadbury's ones, or well, two Cadbury's ones, and this Nestle Yorkie one. Uh, I've seen Ben um, Ben Fitzpatrick talking about these and doing quite well on them, so I thought I'd give those a try. Right, and then a few books. I picked up this. Um, obviously the box is, is a bit knackered, um, and it's missing one or two books as well. But it doesn't matter, I'll just bin the box. Uh, and sell these Roald Dahl books as they are. Um, they'll go really well. Uh, I paid a pound on that and there's some good money there. There's how many is that? Four, eight books there. Um, so yeah, pleased with that one. Um, another one for a pound was this set of Shakespeare stories. Uh, eight book set. Um, I did scan that into Amazon to have a look and it goes quite well on there. So that will probably go to Amazon. Um, Harry Potter, a Hunger Games, that's to make up a set that I've been building up. More Harry Potter. Uh, this was nice. Um, I paid, what did I pay? I paid a pound for this, and this is 
the whole set of these Minecraft um, handbooks. Um, I sold three out of this set for £10 not that long ago. So I figured that had to be worth a pound. It's in lovely condition. It looks like it's hardly been out of the box. So that was nice. Um, and the obligatory Jacqueline Wilson. This is a nice hardback. This Hetty Feather, there's three books in the Hetty Feather like set, if you like, and they sell well if you get the three, uh, especially if you get the hardbacks. So they're worth picking up. Uh, so I grabbed that one at, I think that was 50 pence. And then there's these uh, witch outfits that you saw me find in the video, and I paid a pound each on those. Um, yeah, and they're pretty nice. They're Smithy's ones, so quite a nice brand, and they'll be perfect for the shop, or I'll just whack them on eBay and shift them. So that's that. So I only spent, well, I spent less than £30. Um, and yeah, I was quite pleased, really. Didn't get much volume, which is good because I'm running out of storage space down here. But yeah, some nice stuff. Okay, so that's it. That's my little roundup for the Saturday boot sales. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Hope there's something in there of interest and those bolos will come in handy when you're out and about looking for stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Please give it a thumbs up. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.